Hey there, so today we have another review and this is a fun one. This is courtesy of Matt, so thank you so much. Uh, he lives near me, um, got in touch when I moved down and uh, hung out a few times, really wonderful friend. So uh, thank you so much, Matt. Um, this is from Charlestown Fermentary. So he went to Charleston and asked where to visit. I didn't actually get to visit this place. I don't know how new they are, but when I moved down two and a half years ago, I didn't actually get to visit and uh, it seems like they have great ratings. So he picked up a few beers. We've uh, shared a couple already. And then um, uh, he gave me a few beers to review. So super exciting. Yes, so let's dig into this. This is Charlestown Fermentary. Uh, they're in Charleston. They're on the west side. Like there's, I think Mount Pleasant, I think is what it's called, is uh, across a bridge from real Charleston, where Westbrook is, and then I guess the other side, the west side, is where this is. So this is Zuma, Double Dry Hop Session I four four five. Um, doing hazy, so. Really wonderful label on that too. There we go. All right, let's see this guy. Uh, pale, like old straw color, medium to medium plus haze, not completely opaque. Oh yeah, so I don't know how fresh this is. They're, oh yeah. So I've noticed that a couple of your cans, like they just can't seem to get it on the bottom. So I don't know the freshness, but obviously this was picked up within a week or two ago. So fresh. So this is all that kind of like um, dank green, a little bit chivy. It's a uh, little bit minty, but no, it's, it's, it's bitter, like dankness. Yeah, it's that kind of just like vegetal, uh, I don't know what I'll call it, just like, dank herbs not quite marijuana but it's like very vegetal so it's like grassy but not pretty grassy yeah, yeah that's where it is it's not pretty gr grassy it's that kind of west coast kind of soily uh dankness so it's like literally grabbing a handful of like grass and soil and just sniffing that yeah and then it's chivey too a little bit so it's got that kind of like grassy herb thing and the other thing yeah chives chives yeah i grew up eating chives i hate them but chivey soily there you go cheers Don't know what's in here, um, hop wise, they don't say, but okay. So despite that on the nose, it is just a pretty pleasant, pale uh, New England session. Immediately reminds me of the sweetness and the levity of something like um, Treehouse Eureka. It's got that like light doughy thing um, throughout the malt. I guess that's what you get with the kind of malt base that you use for New England IPA. When you bring it down so small, I guess the, I don't know if it's the oat, wheat, or just the less amount of grains you use accentuates this really like dough, doughy sweetness. Mm -hmm. And then there's not enough alcohol sweetness to really back it up. So it's really just the grains and it's just that kind of like oatmeal slash, what's this taste like? It's like very, very pale bread slash, um, mm, there, there, there you go a little bit. Um, sort of like Neapolitan pizza dough, that really like crust. It's so a really light to doing this, not fully cooked all the way. Mm. Cooked all the way, but like pale, very pale, you know, not like crunchy, crispy, my art. And then as you wait, a little bit soil soiliness comes in. Um, this has a good amount of floral character from the hops. Floral, pretty. Nice kind of light session beer. Has a good amount of mouthfeel too for four or five. Uh, yeah, good amount of character. I like it. Uh, this one for me gets a solid 93, solid 93. This is uh, Zuma, double dry hop session IPA. Not crazy aromatics, nothing crazy, crazy on the palate, but it's a pretty light drinkable New England session IPA. Uh, it does malt well, has great drinkability, doesn't have those weird off flavors, doesn't lean too much on the super fruitiness and all that weird stuff, uh, or traditional stuff of New England IPA. It just leans a little pretty, a little bit fruity, maybe. As for fruitiness, there's certain fruitiness that I didn't mention, sorry. Um, it's lemon peel, lemon zest, a little bit of orange peel, uh, white yellow grapefruit peel. Um, it's just like zesty, zippy, floral, and a little bit of that kind of like soily dankness on the back end. Until next time, guys, cheers. 93 for me. Thanks so much, Matt. Later.